What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode 8 of uh, my Let's Play of Direwolf 20's 1.12 pack. Um, I'm still a little behind on updates, so I'm, I don't have the most up-to-date pack. Um, I always like to wait for the actual patch notes, and I don't know if they're actually going to put them up or not. Right now, they just have kind of like, you know, these mods were updated from this version to this version, and it doesn't say what actually happened. Um, so, yeah. I was kind of trying to wait for that, but it doesn't appear that they're going to. Um, and I, I kind of want to update because there's some changes uh, to some of the mods, and they've also added in uh, chicken chunks to be able to do chunk loading. Although, I haven't really have been having issues since I've been on the server, like I was in single player. Um, today, I want to uh, upgrade the rest. I, I know I said I didn't want to use a lot of Tinker's Construct, but it's just so straightforward right at the beginning to be able to have these weapons and uh, stuff like that. And so, uh, well, let's see, S between episodes I made uh, this copper shovel that just kind of at least help self heals somewhat. Um, it's pretty darn quick, so I used that when I was clearing out all that uh, dirt on uh, the... Actually, I don't know if that's happened yet <laughs> in the videos. I recorded some stuff out of order. Uh, but I've been clearing a bunch of dirt for my new base area that I kind of introduced last episode. And um, so, yeah. But uh, I want to, while I've been working on my base, I really want to, uh, I really want to kill the weather, wither so I can make an unbreakable Better Builder's Wand, which I know is kind of a funny thing to want nether stars for right off the bat, but, uh, yeah, that's what I want. <laughs> um, so I'm going to, uh, make some stuff here to try and not only fight the wither, but also, uh, make myself a cleaver here so that I can, uh, get myself some wither skulls a lot easier. Um, yeah, so there's my cleaver I'm going to make. Um, got three modifiers available. I did this guy because it has a lot of attack. I'm not entirely sure what the whispering thing is. Hopefully it's not too obnoxious. Uh, Manuin always has lots of durability. Hits pretty hard. Uh, that's the downside to the demonic is it doesn't have a lot of durability to it. Um, then the bone, those give quite a lot of durability. So got ourselves a cleaver. And uh, then we're going to make uh, broadsword. So that's Manulin. And uh, I did Ardite because that just gives a boatload of durability. Um, oh, apparently there's what the Manulin <laughs> deal does. <laughs> or the uh, demonic. So I got Celsa a new sword. That's pretty sweet. Uh, 12 attack damage versus 7. It's pretty nice. Although uh, I'm totally spoiled from the last pack I played had uh, um, the mystical agriculture mod and the sword from that is just absurd so I'm a little spoiled to not have that uh, available to me um, I like the short bows they don't do quite as much damage but they just draw a lot faster um, so I've got cobalt and then uh, I want to try I made some pig iron up <laughs> um, I guess I could show how some of these things are made. So you make pig iron by uh, doing molten emerald uh, blood and molten iron um, and that makes an ingot of pig iron. Um, I just went to the nether and found there's a biomes of plenty uh, biome that has lakes of blood basically. <laughs> um, so I ended up just grabbing a bucket there and dumping it into my smeltery. It was a little easier than trying to throw mobs in there or whatever. Um, so that'll be pretty sweet. 580 durability, very quick draw speed, pretty decent range, um, 5 bonus damage, not too bad. Um, some of these things we can increase too. But yeah, so I got that guy, and then I'll make my arrow. Uh, that's going to make me actually do it the right way. Um, so yeah, I got my arrow. It's got 82 ammo. can increase that a bit. Um, it's not too bad. 
pretty good attack. So, you know, when I'm using this guy, let's find Mr. Sheep. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Uh, this definitely has a lot better range than the bow I was using the last series, so I'm going to have to kind of retrain myself a little bit. But only actually used a couple ammo there. And, you know, a few durability there. Um, and I will... Let's see. I think... So I just have to carry... It's Cobalt, Manulin, Manulin. I'm just going to throw... Had some extra manual when I might have used it all. Because um, what I was going to do is basically just keep um, the different materials in my backpack so that I can you know, easily repair them anytime I have one of the uh, tool stations nearby, which I do at both my bases currently. Um, well, don't need my diamond sword anymore. I did, uh, just for now, upgrade myself to all diamond armor since I don't need the slime boots anymore. Um, and at least, you know, it's there's just not a lot of great armor options in this mod pack right now that are super easily accessible. Um, you know, there's all this Restonia stuff, but if you look, diamond has a toughness on it, and a lot of these armors don't have the toughness. So it's kind of like, great, you can make it, but... Uh, it's just not as not as good as a diamond because it doesn't have the armor toughness on it. I um, thought there was another one that had, you know, of course there's always the Draconic Evolution armor, which is where you always end up in this pack because, I mean, Industrial Craft is obnoxious. Um, this Flux Infused stuff is good, and depending on how quick I can get to Draconic, uh, may end up being worth going to in the media in the you know meantime um i'm not sure where this tw this twilight forest stuff i think comes from a dungeon or something maybe I'm not really sure um yeah none of this oh uh, invar let's see eh, nope doesn't have quite the same so yeah, I think uh, you could do Platinum. How does that compare? It's basically the same. That wouldn't be worth it at all. So I might do this Flux Infused stuff. It's really not that horribly expensive. You just got to make this flexed armor plating. And I think you just end up, if I remember right, you just need 24 of those like you do with a normal set of armor. cool part about this is it charges with RF. So there's not any durability. Uh, it won't ever actually break. And these guys, they take flexed electrum plate and flexed crystal. So, let's see, you need one of those crystals, and it takes two diamonds and a bucket of destabilized redstone. So you'd need, you know, 24 diamonds, 12, 12 buckets. Um, let's see, 500. That's the same. They so could do it either way, by putting the bucket in there or by putting it in a fluid transposer. Um, and then these fluxed electrum ingots. Yeah, you do this fluxed blend with sand and an induction smelter. And that's just silver, gold, and destabilized redstone. So it's it's not horrible to make this stuff. Um, it's a little obnoxious, but could definitely make it. Um, yeah, so basically that's I'm going to go to the nether and try and uh, go get myself some wither skulls. I've got a couple of different ender fortresses that I found that are both pretty good size. Um, so we'll go check this out, and I think it's actually easier if I just go down here and then fly. And then we'll look around, 
Let's see if we can find any of these guys. There are a couple blaze spawners there too, which could come in handy later. Let's see. Just flying back and forth. Not seeing any on the mini map. I think there's another nether fortress over here. If I remember right. Yeah, well, wow, that's a big old magma cube. Sometimes these, like, subterranean tunnels can be a little better for spawning the, uh, wither skeletons. Hmm. I don't think I've been this way. Might actually be some chests left in here. Ooh, what's in there? Eh, nothing great. Alright, nothing over there. I found all kinds of those wands. From, uh, I think it's Not Enough Wands is the name of the mod. So I've been using them. Um, got one of the block changer ones and teleportation. A couple of the block movers. None of them are that tremendously expensive to make, but it's a lot nicer to find them, that's for sure. Okay, that's all the chests that are in there. Um, hopefully, flying around here is getting some guys to spawn. Doesn't look like it yet. Oh, there's another chest. Drill core. That's another thing I should really make. Is uh, actually additions drill. Oh, a little lag there. Nope, oh, already went that way. Probably should have put modifiers on these before I uh, came here, because you can actually add uh, more beheading levels. I'm not remembering what it takes uh, off the top of my head. Oh, oh yeah, I went that way. This is how I knew where the biome was that had the blood for the buckets of blood. Hmm. Gonna need to upgrade the damage on this, guys. So I can one-shot most mobs. Just not having a lot of luck with those bastards spawning. Nope, not that way. Something spawned. Where's he at? Over on this other side? Yeah. Come. Oh, seriously. Come on. Come on. Let the poor pig man go. Oh, yeah. That's what I need. The one shot. See, this is a real nice big fortress, which means lots and lots of surface area for stuff to spawn. Oh, 
Oh, son of a... <laughs> Jerk. Just tons of pigmen. Oh, there's wither skeleton somewhere over here. There they are. Man, got a drop of evil at least. That's nice. Can use that for uh, making another spawner or a mob spawner, not another one. I don't have any yet. Uh, let's see. Any... some more damage to or the arrow I should say the bow I don't think if you, I think if you put the damage on it it only accounts if you whack something with it melee wise so uh not sure I want to do that let's see go down here oh somebody spawned where's he at where's he at um, no, how can we get to him? Ooh, what's this little area? Damn it. Ooh, I haven't been in this part of the fortress. Funky. That was kind of a weird way to get down here. Uh, let's see. See some regular skeletons. Nothing there. I'll go up that staircase. Wow. Oh. Gosh, just not having a lot of luck. in a few see why I like the short bow so fast to draw okay let's see here
Oh, son of a... Ha! <laughs> well, there you go. Suppose that's one way to get the heads. Alright. Anybody around yet? Three of them spawned somewhere this way. Let's see. Maybe over here. Oh yeah. Oh crap. At least they don't wither for very long. Oh man, what? I'm struggling with the range on this thing. Oh, nice. I didn't realize I'd gotten three. I thought I only had two. So that means I think I have a total of four. Because I'm pretty sure I already have one at home. So if I just grab some soul sand. Um, no inventory space. Totally gonna go in lava. Oh well. way and I picked the dead end What are the chances? Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, I'm so dead. There was a ghost block that caught me. Son of a bitch. Uh, I better take a pick. Just in case. And maybe my slime boots. I'm really not this big of a noob. <laughs> okay, maybe I am sometimes.
because it's daytime. So I'm gonna go in here because I'd rather not fight it where it can pull a bunch of stuff up that I actually care about. So I'll go here. And the other benefit is the wither will go nuts usually trying to attack a bunch of passive mobs and uh, can sometimes make him less inclined to attack you. Alright. kind of funky. But, I got my Wither Star. Da -na -na -na. Or Nether Star. Huh, I don't... Oh, wow. I'm awesome. I dropped my arrow somehow? Oh no, these are just ones that I shot. That was really weird. It was like lagging super hardcore. Um... wonder why. There's my little base. Hmm. I wonder why it was lagging so hard. All right. So now I can, uh, I can make my uh, unbreakable wand, which kind of a silly thing to use my first nether star for, I suppose, but it's not like it's the end of the world. They're not tremendously hard to get, obviously. I also, I'm not sure, but sweet, unbreakable wand. Uh, it also seems like you can't get withered in the mining world sometimes. I'm not sure why that is but something to keep in mind, another reason to uh, to do your fights there. Uh, let's see, so yeah, I think that's pretty much, uh, that's most of what I wanted to do. I did, I have, uh, I think what I'll do is um, I'll show some of the progress that I've made on the, the other base build, um, kind of the, the process so far. Um, I still have quite a ways to go. Uh, that's part of why I wanted this Unbreakable Wand, though, as you'll see. Um, because uh, I just have some ambitious things that I want to do. And uh, this Unbreakable Wand will help with not having to keep use diamonds over and over and over again um, to keep building. Because uh, some of the stuff I was using was chewing through the diamond builders ones. I've gone through three or four of them already. And uh, it's just, just a lot of diamonds to use for that. Um, when I can just never have to make another one now. Um, you know, and you can always upgrade these to, uh, to do more and more blocks. So, yeah. Um, I think I'm going to cut over. Um, be right back and... I'll show you a couple of the different uh, progress clips that I've made 
so far on the uh, build. Uh, I'll be right back. So I probably should have recorded dropping all this sand, but uh, figured I'd catch up and at least show the me creeps clearing it out. I uh, I basically just use the um, stoneworks material factory or whatever the heck it's called, uh, and um, just generated a ton of sand automatically, and. Uh, the um, the builder wanted to place it. Oops, don't want to do that. The builder wanted to place it basically at the top level first. So it went and it would just place the sand at the top level, but then it would fall. And so I just did it over this whole area, and it filled in the water. I tried using uh, uh, the pump card with the v voiding it or taking it to a trash can. And, uh, that didn't work. Like, it was just regenerating all the source blocks. I thought, for some reason, I thought that it would have a way around that. I don't know. Um, so, yeah. Now I'm just going to use Mr. Me Creeps because, uh, I basically made this whole thing. Um, let's see. I totally am going to need to add the white sand, uh, and the white sandstone to this. Um,. and it'll suck it up. There we go. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to use Mr. Me Creeps. I'll dig down in the center. Uh, this whole thing is 41 by 41, so uh, Mr. Me Creeps can do a uh, um, 13 by 13. So if I just go over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... <coughs> Damn it, let's count. One, two, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I dig down right here into the sand, uh, what Y level did I go to on this one? It is 58. Uh, Mr. Me Creeps, why'd you die? So that's a quick way to really do it, because uh, if you shift click now, it just repeats the same thing. So now I'm going to do is I'm going to dig down, so I'm on 58, oops, went one too far, and then same task and then because it's sand they dig down and it uh, you know it doesn't matter how much height there is above them because they just That's another way to get rid of some sand <laughs> okay I should go down and pick all this up I don't know why I'm bothering it's not like it matters all this sand was just generated from RF so easy Probably torch this up. F four. Find if you put it on the fours, it generally lights everything up pretty well. So then this should be exactly 13 between, so if I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Dig down right here. Ow, bastard. through to the other one. Totally cleared out. Now I should probably go and torch. I think I'm gonna go there. Yeah, perfect. That one? Nope, this one. Um son of a didn't want that to happen. myself I need to make more tools like I know I said I didn't want to use tinkers but um, uh, I don't know it's just so good should really make that actually a distance drill thing. It's pretty straightforward and easy to use. You know, it's a, and you can do the hammer with it and all that. Let's see, throw one there. 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 And... Seven, one, two, three. Hopefully I stopped the right one. Otherwise he'll dig through the wall. I think I did. It was so ridiculous how easy that is. And then I'll just go pick everything up and they'll all disappear. Easy cheesy. So I just wanted to show everybody kind of how I was going to dig this area out. It's how big the base of my tower is going to be. And yeah, we'll see how it all works. Uh, anyway, I'll be back in a bit. And I'm back for a sec. I uh, just wanted to show everybody this kind of funny way I figured out. I dug straight down and I died in the process because a creeper fell in after me and blew me up. But uh, basically what I've been doing is putting dirt right below it, and then, uh, yes, sir, just we spamming, we like, a bunch of me creeps. Yes, sir, we Damn it. Now if they fall yes, off, they die. Yes, well, those do But those will. Occupational hazard. Sorry, me creeps.
So, uh, yeah. Dug that all the way down to bedrock. Bam. So, yeah. Uh, that's all I wanted to show everybody. Uh, I'll be back in a bit. Oh, it's kind of funny. Uh, apparently the top of this ravine might, must be within the range of where my builder was. And so it dropped some sand way below. Well, that's kind of cool looking. That is very lush green grass. Crystals. Neat. Uh, anyway, uh, I'll be back in a bit. And I'm back and uh, made some progress. Got my four pillars or whatever they're going to be uh, going all the way down to bedrock. And um, I think what I'm going to do is basically kind of rebuild the terraformed area. Uh, I'll rebuild the bottom of the ocean, effectively, where I can, where my pillars aren't. And that way there will still be some water going between the pillars. I'll refill it. Um, yeah, I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do, but I'm not positive yet. Um, and then I can just basically block replace the walls of all these all the way down. And that might look kind of cool, like having the skyscraper basically uh, coming out of the peninsula, because right now I like I liked this little cove I had and then I just was looking at it and I'm like, well, I basically destroyed the whole cove. So, uh, I think I might try and replace it a bit, and yeah. I don't know. We'll see. I'm also not sure if I want to do one right in the middle. But that might take I don't know. It'll kind of take up the whole space then. I mean, there'd be a little water between them, but not a lot. And I'm not sure I'd like that. I think I'd rather kind of have it open and just use these four pillars. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to play around with it some more. And uh, be back in a bit. Okay, I'm back. And just wanted to give you guys a progress update. So basically what I did is I dug out all the sand that, uh, I, that the builder had built over the top of everything, like the natural seabed, as best as I could, and then um, I want to fill it back up with water, and so I basically built a layer of dirt right below, one layer below where I want the surface to be, and then just, you know, fill buckets using those crazy Minecraft physics, water physics, and uh, yeah just filled the whole thing up and now I'm digging the dirt away and the walls at the sides and then that way it'll all be consistent with these gigantic holes all the way to bedrock and yeah so I'm gonna keep working on this get the rest of that dirt dug away that'll basically be all that um, then I gotta figure out what I'm gonna actually build the base out of so I can start gathering those materials uh, at least as far as the non-glass parts, because a lot of it's going to be glass. But, uh, yeah. Uh, just wanted to give that quick update. I'll be right back. And I'm back. What's up, everybody? Uh, it's only been a couple seconds for you, but it's the next day for me. So, <laughs> uh, I've made a little bit of progress here, as you can see, um, since I barely hadn't even come out of the water yet. Um, so yeah, I've built, uh, on top of where I was, built this up a little so it's going to float over the water. Um, and then I built that platform and expanded it in a couple directions. Um, as you can see, got these guys all, I filled in all the holes on the sides of these so they're just going straight down. Uh, that way no mobs can spawn in here because mobs can't spawn on the bedrock. And, uh, got the start to a couple floors there and then uh, also start to kind of the shape of what's going to go up from here um, yeah that's pretty much what's going on just wanted to give another update um, and catch you guys in a bit when I do my next one and I'm back uh, just wanted to give one last update now that I made this builder's wand um, like I said, there's been some out-of-sequence recording because uh, 
I was working on this and I realized I should record some of it and so I didn't uh, didn't you know just wanted to get the recording and so I didn't do an intro back then then I figured out more stuff I wanted to do this episode yada yada so that's why it's all kind of out of order um, since the last one I haven't done much with this bottom part but I made a little little tower and uh, this is why I wanted the unbreakable builders wand so that I can uh, do this and I'm not doing a lot at once so I don't necessarily need the other one um, but I'm taking these up and don't worry they're not going to say cobblestone uh, but these are going to be like the elevator shafts for my uh, skyscraper I'm building and it's just going up a little bit here just a little ways longer to go uh, one beautiful thing about uh, the the builders wand can pull from the dank null which is totally sweet um, the um, the wand the replacement wand from uh, not enough wands or whatever cannot uh, okay so that's the top yep so we're all the way up at max level and these might not actually go that high I might have I'll probably have like a roof or something but yeah so that's the plan um, not really any reason to build that high um, aside from the building that I'm trying to replicate sort of um, but I just want to so <laughs> um, and then I'll just replace all this eventually um, it'd be nice to get an exchanger because I think they work a little better and use a little less power per block than the wand does um, but the wand does it alright especially if I move my base over here and then start working on uh, like if I move all my power gen and everything over here um, then it'll make it a little easier because my uh, oh, I didn't show everybody that. I made an energetic infuser back at my other base, um, or my original base. And uh, so I've been using that to recharge the wands. It's pretty darn quick. I also put the upgrade in it. Let's see. Yeah, so as you can see, it takes, to do this all the way up, uh, it takes about two and a half diamond builders wands so you know I would have to keep making them and you know I would have just used you know nine or ten diamonds to make these four well plus I already used two and a half diamonds on the first one uh, well maybe not on, only on the first one it might have been with uh, using the builders wand for some of the cobblestone on the platform down there I don't remember but uh yeah, this is why I wanted to kill the wither, and now that I can kill, now that I killed him once, makes things a lot easier. You know, well, not necessarily easier to kill him, but now that I know I can kill him, um, I'll just kill him over and over and over again. Okay, so yeah, that's why I wanted this builder's wand, and if the stupid clouds would go away, you could see that that's a pretty tall tower. So. uh yeah, I think I'm going to wrap it up here. I'm sure this episode's gotten long. I'm not sure exactly how long it is with all the clips I'm using. But, uh, yeah, thanks a bunch for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.